Hi everyone, welcome to Keto Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can add a image gallery to your WordPress website. So as you know WordPress has an image gallery blog but that has a very limited functionality and you don't have that much customization option available in that default image gallery but you can use a separate plugin like image gallery plugin or you can use page builder like Elementor or Cadence blocks to generate image gallery in your WordPress website. So let's check how you can do that so first of all let me just go to the plugins here and i will click on add new plugin here now what i can do is i will search for image gallery and here you will get a lot of image gallery plugins so i prefer to use this one image gallery block by wp developer so let me quickly install this image gallery plugin and let's check what are the options you will get using this plugin so let me quickly activate this plugin here all right now we have activated our image gallery plugin let's go to the post and i will click on add new post here so let me quickly show you the default image gallery that comes with wordpress so let me click on plus here and i will search for gallery and here you will see this option gallery so let me quickly select that and i will hit upload button here and i can select my images or i can use my media library to select the images so let me quickly select these images and I will click on create new gallery. So let's install the gallery here and you can see that this is the default image gallery that comes with WordPress and you don't have much customization options like you can select only this option expand to click. So let me quickly publish this page. So let me quickly publish this and let me view this post here and this is how the default image gallery of wordpress looks like so you can see this option you can enable this expand click to expand option so that it will open in a light box functionality so this function is recently introduced by wordpress so you can easily enable that by selecting the image here so let me just show you so just select the image and enable the expand to click option so this is how the image gallery of wordpress works but if you want an advanced image gallery then we can use that plugin as well so let me quickly search for gallery here and this is the image gallery using that image gallery block plugin so let me quickly select that and i can upload my image or i can select images from my media library so let me quickly select some images from my media library here so i will select first image and hold shift and I will select all the images from the media library. Now I can create a new gallery here and I can add caption to this images as well and I will click on insert gallery and as you can see that the image gallery is now inserted and here you will see this option grid layout so you can change it to masonry layout if you want like this so it will you know, automatically adjust the image and adjust the gallery according to the image size and if you select it to the grid then it will show a fixed image size so you can change that image size from here so first of all let's select the image size so you can change it to thumbnail medium or you can change it to full size from here and you can change the column from here like this so if you want to add two images per column then you can do that and you can change the image gap of the image as well so let me quickly reduce that and here you can change the style option here and you can change the height of the image like this so you can reduce the height to set it like horizontal view instead of a vertical image gallery and you can also change the image width as well so let's keep it 100 percent so let's keep it 150 pixel in image height or you can select adaptive instead of setting a fixed uh, image size you can do that or you can set the alignment as well so here let's click on filter and you can enable filter in your image gallery so let me show you so when i click on enable it will show a filter option like this so let me set a filter item so let me choose building and let's add a filter and let me choose something like car so it will it will filter out the images based on the category that you have selected so let's click on gallery item let's select the fourth image here and let's select it to car 
so in the similar way i will select fifth images to car and the sixth images to car and then i will select the seven eight images to building and i will select ninth images to building like this so let's keep it uh, all right now let's uh, click on the filter here and as you can see that it will show the images according to the category so this will looks good if you want to add multiple category images to your image gallery then you can create a gallery like this so you can change this style as well by going to the style option here and you can click on filter and you can change the right margin from here to add spacing between the filter so let's keep it 10 pixel and you can change the padding as well so you can change the padding right padding to 20 pixel and let's keep the left padding to 20 pixel so it will increase the padding in the button so you can also change the color as well so let's change the color to red and as you can see that the color changed to red so in the same way you can change the color to white and change the background color to something like a red like this and you can change the hover color as well and you can change the active color as well so let's keep the active color to something like black like this so you can change the button color according to your choice you can add border in this button as well and you can add a box shadow so here this plugin has some advanced option that you can enable like and you can change the background color of your image gallery so if you want to add a background color then you can choose that and it will add a background color like this so let me choose a gray color here and will add a gray background here or you can add a background images to your image gallery as well and you can enable border as well so let's change the border to dash and change the border width to 4 pixel and let's change the border color to red and as you can see that we have added a border in the image gallery as well and you can also hide it from the tab or mobile and you can also add animation effect to your images like bounce effect zoom in zoom out fade in fade out so you have the options in animation as well and you can write your custom css to further customize your image gallery as well and if you are using cadence theme then you can use the cadence blocks to add image gallery to your wordpress website so let me show you that method as well so let me quickly delete that from here and i will click on plus and this is the image gallery from cadence blocks plugin so let's click on here and i will select the images here and let me quickly select all of my images from here and i will create new gallery here and we have the image gallery with a masonry style and you can see that it is automatically taking the size according to the image size or you can change it to grid so that it will show a fixed image size here and you can set the image ratio to 16 is to 9 or you can set like 3 is to 2 or 4 is to 3 so you have the preset option added here or you can set it to inherit as well so let me quickly select it to 16 is to 9 ratio and you can change the column to fourth or change it column to two like this so let's keep it four and you can change the spacing between the images by changing the gutter here like this you can change the spacing between the images and you can choose the thumbnail image size and you can change the link setting so let me quickly set it to media file and what i can do is i will change the link trigger to light box so let me quickly update it and let's check in in the front end so when i click on any of the images it will show in a light box functionality so this the same for light box that you have get in wordpress as well so you can also enable it from image from the cadence blocks as well so you have more options so you can add a captions here like let's click on here and here you can add the caption here so let me like lion and i can change the caption size to medium and let me change this to two so you will it will be visible properly and you can change the caption background from here so let me choose this background or a black background like this and this is how the caption works so let's add a like mountain 
and it will show the caption when you hover over the image and you can further change its font family letter spacing and you can change this placement as well like bottom of the image below image so always like this it will show the caption or you can add a cover like this and here you can set the cover um, opacity as well so let's set the caption background to something like this and it will show like this so there are various options that you will get in cadence blocks image gallery option as well and you can change the styling as well like you can add border to the images you can add grayscale effect like this or you can add a different image filter as well and here you can adjust the padding and margin so this is how you can add an image gallery either you can use the default image gallery that comes with the wordpress or you can use the cadence blocks plugin which is a page builder that comes with cadence theme but you can use this page builder in any theme as well so you can use it with generate press or any other astra theme as well so this is a page builder that have the image gallery option or you can use a plugin like image gallery block so these are these plugins that you can use in your wordpress website to create image gallery and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section also let us know if you want more tutorials on other topics like blogger wordpress or seo so i will try to make videos on that as well and i will see you in the next video bye bye